Hello friends and welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are working in the Tinkercad circuits. So these are a great series of tutorials if you want to get started making circuits. We have already made some really fun circuits like our little LED that will turn on. We've also made a paint box LED and today we are going to take our circuits one step further and use a sensor to sense how far apart we are from something and we weren't gonna, we're going to turn on a light if we get too close to something. So in your Tinkercad circuits, you'll go over and create new circuit. And we can call this one a motion sensor or a motion light is maybe what I will call it. And then we can get started, we'll be all ready. If you're unfamiliar with the Tinkercad layout, I suggest that you go check our other two YouTube videos that we have going on. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and obviously you can support us at patreon.com slash rosyresearch like always, and it helps us grow. So the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna pull out a breadboard here and that will allow us to have some building space. And again, if we click on a dot in this breadboard, that's a spot we could put like an LED leg in or a wire in, and all these ones that go above it with the green, they're all connected to each other. So it's a really easy way to connect things. And these ones are connected vertically sort of going down on the top and the bottom. And then the rails, these are called the power rails, they are connected horizontally. All right, so we are going to power our circuit with a battery, although this circuit needs a little bit more than one and a half volts. And you could add a bunch of batteries and then hook them up like this, but there is a great little thing that if you click on this battery, up in this upper right hand corner you'll get things you can change its name if you want to that can help you with circuit diagrams if you need to but you can also change the count so you can change how many batteries you have we're going to just use three batteries right now you can also change the type of batteries and you can even add a built-in switch if you want it to have your off and on switch there which is pretty cool all right so we will wire up our battery we'll do the positive We'll come out of our terminal and go right in here and then our negative is going to come up and it's going to go into the negative rail right there. I'm going to move this just a little bit so that we can have a little bit prettier wires here. And we can click on this wire and we can make them nice and straight for ourselves. We can also change the color by clicking on it. And coming up here in the top portion we will make the red red and we will make this ground black and that helps us know where everything is going so we are going to add in a motion sensor and so if we look over here we're going to need a new circuit component we haven't used yet we can scroll down and this is a pir detector and we can put this in here just like this let's put it over on this side i think that way we can see our wiring and if we hover over these terminals, it'll say here is our signal, here is our power, and here is the ground. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to connect ground to ground. We'll do that here, and we want to connect our power to power. We're going to color the power one red. And now you might be saying, but Dr. Erica, we hooked the power up to the top rails and not the bottom rails. But we can do that. We can click here and we can make a wire that will power this bottom rail. And we can do the same here and we can turn this one black so that we know that it's ground. And so now we do have power going through both of these rails, which is nice because then we can use it whenever we want to. Now our signal is going to basically put out um, some voltage when this is activated. So if we want it to light up an LED, that is where we put our LED at. So I'm going to come over here into my circuit parts and I will pick out my basic part of the LED and I will plug that in. So we've got our little LED in here and something that's fun, I'm gonna put it, I think, right like this. Something that's fun with these LEDs is you can change their colors. So I'm gonna hit escape to get that to go. And you can do that up here when you click on your LED, you can call it something and you can also change it to all different colors, which is kind of great. All right, so when this is activated, it's gonna send its voltage through. It's kind of like a switch. And so the voltage is gonna be high. It's gonna go right into this anode, which is the longer leg, it kind of like comes out to the side. And because that's hot, where it's the higher voltage, I'm gonna color it red. 
And then I can connect this one to ground, just like that. And if I start my simulation, I can come over here, I have to zoom out, so you can do that with scrolling on your mouse. And if I click on this, then my LED lights up. Now we notice it has a problem with lighting up, and that's because we don't have a resistor in there. But we can add a resistor pretty easily, and what we would do for that, you wanna stop your simulation, we're gonna delete this line that we had just made. We'll bring out a resistor like that, and then we can go from here into the ground, and we're gonna color that black because it's the grounded one. Now we can start our simulation. We'll zoom out again, and we can activate it. We activate it by touching this little blue dot up here, and I no longer get that problem with the LED, which is pretty great. And that is a fun way to add some new circuit parts to your circuit. We'll be doing some other code, um, or not code blocks, but Tinkercad circuit tutorials where we use some 555 timers and even the Arduino Uno as we do some basic programming in that. And it's great because you can even write your code and it will execute the code in the simulation. It's a great way to learn about circuits and get started without having to build things and as much frustration. All right, we are excited to see you next time. Have a great day.